what other exceptional challenges might we face in our society? We've pledged ourselves as one united people, but the pioneers who were present at the creation, who lived through our first foundation, that first forging of our Singapore identity, they are growing old, dwindling in number, fading into history. So each generation must pledge itself anew, reforge that unity. But today there are new fault lines, social class, differences in wealth, upbringing, social networks, independent schools charging more, which can discourage students who are afraid that they might not qualify for a full fee scholarship. Culture wars, globalization of culture, belief systems, values from faraway lands, very different from Singapore coming to our island. New divides, foreigners and locals, old Singaporeans, new Singaporeans, as some choose to call it. I will not pollute this house by naming specific websites or their supporters, but we know who they are. We know which websites they are and can guess how much money they made from advertising while trying to teach Singaporeans how to hate. And the risk, Madam Speaker, is exceptional when multiple fault lines come together. Our local politics, Madam Speaker, could turn divisive. That is a downside risk for us. What happens if a campaign is waged with negative, destructive emotions? It could be a general election, a presidential election, the politics of protest, of tearing down. We have seen what it can do in the traditional mature democracies. Gridlock in some of the major democracies in the world. Anti-immigrant UKIP in the UK, Syriza in Greece, AFD in Germany, a far-right party. And such parties do not need to do exceptionally well to win, Madam Speaker. Just by becoming a political force, they hollow out and poison the political center. Yeah.